Hey guys, me, Donald Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update. All right, to radar first, and this is what's left of our uh, big storm system now sliding down through southern Colorado. The whole low is going to retrograde back through parts of Arizona, southern Utah, even parts of California where it's going to sit and it's going to spin for many, many days. But you can see the snow in blue there still falling, mainly south of I-70 in parts of Colorado. All right, here's what I'm seeing. So again, that low is going to move back to the west and sit probably until death. Um, here's the timeline. So what's next, right, for most of the, uh, the Rockies? Well, the Tetons, the Wasatch in Colorado, the next storm system arrives around 321, 22, 23, and 24. And it looks like a significant pattern shift with a strong storm system, at least one, maybe two during that time period. Uh, Revelstoke up in parts of interior BC, your next storm system comes late 320 through 323. So it's all connected. It's going to come from the north and drop down to the south. In the northeast, you've got some light snow accumulation coming 318, 320, and then potentially a larger storm with heavy snow on 323. All right, let me show you water vapor satellite imagery um, this morning. So again, your moisture aloft is in your whites and your blues. And now look at our storm system. It was over here yesterday. Now it's over here. So you can see that, that westward movement, that retrograding back to the west against the flow. Um, so then there's this big trough of low pressure out here. This is going to be part of that pattern shift, but it's going to take a long time for this to move in um, around 320, 321, 22, 23, 24. It'll set the stage for that big pattern change across the west, and it's going to have a powerful jet stream with it by the time it arrives. And looking at the, uh, the jet stream, let me show you that first. So here it is, current setup by close of uh, business today. You can see where that low is back uh, across the, uh, the desert southwest. So by tomorrow, it's still there, starting to see some high pressure ridging across the Pacific Northwest and BC, um, a dry stretch for the central and northern Rockies. There's 317, there's 318, 319, and here comes the shift, 320, 321, 322, you can see trough, powerful jet support, and that'll bring in a larger storm system, at least one for the Intermountain West, if not a couple. All right, looking at precip now, forecast radar and satellite by 5.30 this afternoon. Um, so that low with the areas of rain and snow now moving back through parts of southern Utah and Arizona, but it's going to continue to throw waves of snow in a southwest Colorado. Look at that. Even New Mexico. There's 317, still there. 318, it's still there. And all the while, it's high and dry central to northern Rockies, all the way up into B.C., Here's 319. Things start to shift right here on 320. Here it comes. You can see the next storm system gathering steam, dropping down with the jet stream, and then it starts to take over. Look how big it is on 323, covering a lot of real estate, and it continues to spin into 324 and turns into a pretty large storm system. Utah, Idaho, Wyoming, Montana, and also Colorado. All right, latest numbers. So rest of today through tomorrow, so basically the next 48 hours, um, some accumulation in Colorado, mainly south of I-70, where it could be heavy in the San Juan Mountains, looking at about 6 inches through Taos and Ski Santa Fe and Angel Fire, anywhere from 6 to 10 through Bryan Head and Snow Bowl. Next time period is 317 through 319. Um, some similar accumulation in many of the same spots, just not as much. But um, it's, it's because of that low that's, that's just sitting and spinning for days. And notice there's just nothing up there in the Pacific Northwest, uh, northern tier states, central to northern Rockies, very dry. Then it all starts to change with the pattern shift 320 through 324, bringing in at least one storm, maybe two, looking at a foot or more in a lot of locations. Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, Utah, Colorado, um, the Sierra. Excellent numbers through interior BC, um, up through parts of Revelstoke and Kicking Horse and um, the Banff area, Sunshine, at a foot or more potentially during this time period. Okay, last stop is going to be the Northeast. So through most of the period, it's light accumulation, if not rain. There's a couple of days of rain. But this big swath might be associated with a potential storm around 323 324 if it holds together. I mean, we've had a couple days now where there's an indication of something there, uh, and you can see the potential is there for big snow, assuming that low um, stays on track 
uh, we could be looking at some nice totals. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this morning mountain weather update. Always appreciate you tuning in here and take care.